Hello, my name's Ashley. I'm one of the founders of Skira, and today I'm going to show you what's new in Construct 3 uh, Release 120. Uh, so, first of all, uh, the big new update is we've been working for some time now on a brand new runtime for Construct, uh, which we've called the C3 runtime. Uh, this is completely rewritten, loads of new features, um, much better performance, and it's now enabled by default, so you can try it out um, with your projects. Uh, if you want to give it a go, all you need to do is uh, open Project Properties by clicking the project name in the project bar. Scroll down to the Advanced section here, expand it, and you can see a new runtime property here. And if you change this to the Construct 3 runtime, this will now enable the new runtime with your project. And if you preview, you know, you'll see in the caption here it says C3 runtime, which indicates that you're using uh, the new engine. So, uh, there's. I'm not going to go over everything that's new in, in that. It's been a huge project. We've written about it a lot on our blog already, so go and have a look at our blog if you want the full details of all the new features. Uh, we will be making this the default in future, so give it a go. Let us know if you run into any issues, and I uh, would be very interested to hear how it works out for you. Previously, uh, we've been working on the Construct 3 runtime uh, hidden behind a setting. You don't need to enable the setting anymore. You can just give it a go. Uh, we think it's now more of a beta quality um, stage, whereas previously it was more alpha quality. Um, and we're hoping to make uh, switch everyone over to the new project in the long term. Um, so give it a spin. And uh, this is a huge milestone. It's, um, it's a big part of Construct that's been rewritten and we're looking forward to um, where it takes us in future. Next up, this release has a number of new templates. Um, if you look in the template section, uh, there's a new car lanes template, which is a simple game where you um, simply have to dodge the cars which come down the screen. There are some of them. And as with all the other templates, you can go and look at the events. They're all commented, and you can see how to design that kind of game. Let's just go and have a look at the other ones which are new. There's this one called Eat Em All. You may find this uh, gameplay mechanic familiar to you. <laughs> you can go and check out the events and see uh, how this kind of game is designed as well. There's Falling Shapes. This is quite an advanced one. The logic behind managing uh, rows, detecting the rows of uh, blocks to uh, make them all disappear. It's a little bit tricky, but uh, as ever, you can go and have a look, see how it's designed. There's also the quiz template, very simple Q&A, um, answer questions, see which ones are right, and that'll give you a score at the end. Racetrack. This has an interesting mechanic in it where it will work out who's in first, second, and third place. So that's quite a uh, in useful mechanic to design in your game if you're making a racing game. It's a bit more advanced than that old driving demo that we used to have. And last of all, there is also a, um, there's a new template showing you how to use local storage. So this just shows, uh, previously we didn't have an example for local storage, so this will just show you how uh, a simple way to save and load persistent data, in this case just a high score. One other new thing is uh, with Chrome 68 and above, uh, which includes NWJS because it's based on the same engine, there's a new feature which you can use to rumble gamepads. So, I mean, on the video it's kind of hard to demonstrate that, but you'll be able to find in the gamepad plugin there's a new vibrate action which you can use to rumble a gamepad if it's if it's a supported gamepad and it's got the motors in it and so on. So that's pretty cool if you're making gamepad games. And the last thing I'm going to mention in this video is there's a new congregate um, export option. This is just to help you get up to speed if you want to publish to Congregate, which is a big web game portal which you might have heard of on, on the web before. Uh, that's all that I'm going to mention in this video. Um, as ever, there is absolutely tons more changes. If you want to get the 
full details you can go and look at the releases section and there's loads of changes uh, which I haven't talked about there's been a ton of work on the new runtime in particular uh, lots of new features there we'll be blogging about that more in future um, if you want to get uh, into every single change which we've made they're all listed um, on our website thanks and um, we hope you enjoy the new release